Welcome back to Civ Tech Ages. This is episode eight. So guys, last flaming episode, got a couple of quests done. We got brand new storage units and we managed to build ourselves the mat. Now the reason why we're building, we built the portable bed pretty much, is we're going on an adventure today um, to go ahead and look for a trade so we can trade for um, a, a farmland and trade for an atlas map this this is going to obviously unlock the ability in the in the mod pack so we can actually have a map finally that's going to come so handy in looking around our world and marking things out where it's important and all that flame and good stuff so yeah uh the chests if you didn't watch last episode the chests were disappointing the primal chests were actually a lot smaller than we thought uh we managed to craft ourselves some farmland if you come through here real quick and you go up here uh you yeah we managed to we, we managed to craft ourselves some farmland but that does not count towards the quest unfortunately so that kind of sucks uh indeed uh but i went ahead and grinded up the rest of our bones into bone meal just in case we're going to need it i'm keeping our rotten flesh for trades and stuff but first things first before we go this bloody crafting table is getting an upgrade we talked about this last episode so we're going from our work stump to our work stump mark two that's right this guy here can like do multiple stacks instead of doing one item at a time we can do whole stacks so Oh, thank God, that's going to be good. Now, this should be relatively quite easy to do. Uh, first things first, we should chop ourselves a, a couple of trees down here. Maybe at the back of the base. they sort of be getting a bit of a pain in the bum. So come back here, chop a few of these bad boys down. And, like, maybe this one here this is a nice straight one. They'll be good for fencing. Alright, back up here. And this one here. Perfect. There we go. We should have enough wood to do the job now. Hello, piggy. Up it goes. Perfect. Alright, head on home real quick. And by the way, the barrel here. I've got, got more tips. The barrel actually fills up, obviously, during when, when we have rain, which is great. And apparently, when it's at... You can seal it and carry it around like a, a giant bucket. I'm not sure how true that is. I'm, I'm quite curious. So we'll have to experiment with that later. That's kind of become handy. I'll tell you that for a fact. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and craft this this table. So first things first, it wants a couple of slabs. So we'll, we'll do that. This advanced table. Oh, it needs an old-fashioned crafting table too, like a, the original one. That's easy to craft. Bob's your uncle. Uh, oh. Ah. And one on the bottom there, there, there. So I've got two. It's just a shelf. Oh, come on. The shelf is easy as. Okay. Put this in this hand. Let's chop a couple of these bad boys up real quick. Bob, 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 Bob. There's one. There's another. And there's another. Perfect. That should be oodles for what we need. Go ahead and go to our crafting table and fill all this up. And what was it? Rock up the top. And we just need our crafting rock now. Give it a good whack. Ta-da! Got it. Alright. Okay, so we got that bad boy. Now, let's go ahead and start putting these these together. So what was it? A crafting... Uh, that up the top there. Uh, the original crafting table in the middle. Followed by... Oh, we need two of these. Followed by one slab here, one slab here. And what, what else was it? A full slab at the bottom. A full slab at the bottom. Boom. Alright, let's try this. Okay, what, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Okay. Oh, dark oak woods. Oh, or eucalyptus. This is not one of those ones where you can, where you can, like, it could take literally any woods. It literally has to be a certain type of wood. That's no problem. Uh... The other planks is fine, it's just the bottom one has to be a certain type of wood. So what else wood do we have stored in here? Put that away, and we'll put you away. What are you? Olive woods. No, probably not what we're looking for. But, you know what we live right next to? <laughs> yeah, so getting some uh, dark oak is going to be a breeze, and we only need one. So, come up here. Is this... Good, chopped it. 
There we go. Look at that. Dark oak wood. Just need one. Head on back over to home and put this bad boy back together. That was quite easy. But this Mark II should, should uh, be real handy. And plomp you at the bottom. Ta-da! Give me my new crafting table. All right, remove the old one. Put the new one in. Oh, we're already going up. Look, put the craft, the rock in there. Look at this. So this, if we were to take dirt, just for an example, remember how we could only put one item at a time in? Look at this. You could put multiple items in at a time now. How handy is that? Oh, going up in the world. It feels good. It feels flaming good. Okay, so now that job's done, I think it's time to go on a journey. Let's, there's a few, uh, the, okay, so we got the sleeping bag. Uh, I've got some bone meal. Oh, yeah, all right, let's 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 do this. Let's flame and do this. Um, all right, there's really, there's, I'm just going to pick a direction. To be honest, the ocean slash swamp is over here. So if we don't find a village, I've got an idea of making ourselves a a boat or a raft. What is it called in this? It's a raft, isn't it? Not a not a not a boat. Yeah. So there's no boats. They're called log log. They're log rafts. It's a Tom Hanks style boat. So I, I can easily craft one of those together, and it's a lot easier to find a village literally by sailing the edge of the ocean here. So if we can't, I think we'll start by going upwards, okay? So let's go ahead and start by traveling upwards along here, just, you know, exploring. And if we don't discover one, we're going to quickly head home and grab a raft because, uh, yeah, rafts have just can travel such big distances, short amount of time, you can just get what you want sort of thing. All right. Looks like another mountain range is coming up here. That's fine. Well, come through here. It's very beautiful. Wow, just imagine building between those. <laughs> Whoa, hole in the ground. Hole in the ground. Yep, another hole in the ground. Crikey. So we haven't even been, like, well, seriously, we haven't even been mining yet. That's how nuts this mod pack actually is. Wow, that is stunning. Sorry, I just, I love it. And we're after, se we're after seeds too, guys. If we can grab seeds on the way. Hello, Piggy. How's it going? Um, it looks like we're going into another biome. That's fine by me. This, uh, what are this? This is... Oh, oh, doggy. Oh, he's a he's a nice one. We don't have a bone to feed him, though. Hello. Aha, carrots. I'm going to take that home because it's going to become real flame and handy. And I hear a bunch of water. Alright. Hello, doggies. All right, we'll get past that. Uh, looks like we need to sleep sh sleep soon. Wow. Yeah, it just looks like we're going to have to choose option B, I reckon. Wow. That looks cool. Just these little baby trees on these little islands. And that island is so, like, very, very colorful. It's, it's amazing. All right, we'll go a little bit more and do a Yui, I think. There is... Uh, it's, there is nothing down here. Just more... Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh! Th no way! This is... That looks flaming awesome! Is it me or or we just discovered a, like a, a floating village? A floating... Like in the water village. That's flaming awesome. Look how cute that looks too. Alright, quick. Before we go over there... Oh, we got some more seeds. Oh, we got some normal seeds, which is great. Come on, sleeping mat. You can only sleep at nine. That looks amazing. Let's let's go ahead and dive in the water and go swim over to their little dock. That I don't. It's not meant to be a dock. I don't think <laughs> it's not meant to be a dock. But it's just hey, it's meant to be on ground. But it looks like a dock to me. All right, can we? Wow, come on! Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Come on, guys! Don't have to run around for long. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on using a sleeping bag, and some food. What can we salvage from this place? Fine. You know what? We're gonna go. Oh, torches! Are these torches? Yoink! 
I got a lit fiber torch. Aha! Gotcha. Oh, there's a piggy over there. Her, hello! Farmer! Farmland! Yeah! Alright, I'll be trading for you in a second. We're just going to take a look around. Ooh, hello, come here. More farmers! Oh, jeez. I would love this. Alright, let's go. Let's just trade. Come on. Oh, yep, yep. Don't move, mate. There we go. Farmland. Boom! Unlocked. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. Yes! Another quest bites the dust, guys. Another quest does look. Oh, I've got weakness and mining fatigue. Oh, the flame and galah. It's probably not a good thing. All right, so that there, we've got it. Teach a, ma uh, teach a man to farm. Woohoo. Now, uh, let's look at the map. The The map is oh, beautiful. Hang on. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Look at this, guys. I thought, I thought the sunset was beautiful. No. No, no. No, no, the, the sunrise with the hills in the background. Absolutely stunning. Just saying. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm going to nick the rest of these torches so we can make these... Is that noise? We can make these torches, obviously. Oh, whatever. Yoink. Uh, nothing under here that we should be worried about. Give me that. All right. Got ourselves some torches. Um, well, oh, rearranged my inventory there. All right, let's keep going. We're looking for the map, which I have no clue what guy actually sells. What else do you do? He does different flowers. Wow. An apple seed. You know, oh, 16 of the bone meal for an apple seed. Cotton. Cotton seed. You'll probably find we're going to need these seeds. Grape seeds. Tomato seed. You'll probably find later on we're going to need those for something. Um, he sells, he does the same lot. Yep, same lot. Okay, keep on going. Whoop. Oh, jeez. Sink it to the bottom of the village here. This place will be relatively safe at night time, I think. Oh, what are you, Trevor? Why, it's for string? Ah. Oh, he's got a, oh, he trades for lead. Oh, an unfamiliar item. We don't know that one. Damn it. Okay. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Her, her. Oh, okay. F I'm just looking at all their trades. Fire bow. Right click to light torches. Wow. See what I mean? <laughs> we can't light the torches without something else. Oh, just, all the villagers feel gutted. Like, I, yeah. Damn it. Okay, we're not going to get our second quest here complete. I have not managed to find a guy. That is yet to trade for the item that we're going to need. Um, what are you? Hello. How's it going? Uh, more farmland, guys. And uh, Okay. Not interested. Um, what else? Where else did we didn't explore? I don't think we've done over there. We've done in here. We've done you. Um, we've done there. Great. Oh, oh, that's a different colored one. That's a, a librarian. What are you? I'm sinking to the bottom here, mate. Give me a chance. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's what we need. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Aha. Would you get out of the water? So five feathers, eight ink sacks, and gives us the, the map that we need to unlock our mapping system. Oh, that's going to be so handy. You know what? Oh, what are, what are, are you guys interested? No, so I need, I need chickens. Yes, I do. And I need egg sacks. You know what? Egg sacks. Damn it. All right, you, you're deader than a dead dingo. So I got three already. All right, come on. This, this, this area is so stunningly beautiful. Wow, I could set up a base in here and be satisfied. Do you, oh, I see some over here. And I see a fishy. It's just a shallow water. Alright. Come here. Down we go. <laughs> Got him. Alright, so five or... No, it was eight. We need eight. Oh, hey, fishy. Come here. We're on a quest to complete another quest. Alright, seven. Oh, are you joking, mate? 
All right, look under the water. Aha, one more. And then we just got to find chickens. And that's all we need now. And we got feathers at home. We're not too far away from base. Ooh. Don't look. You look pretty. We can't go... To, we can't... Whatever we do, we cannot lose this area. Ooh. Wow. Wow. I'd love to go down there right now. But it's not going to happen. Alright, we'll sneak through here. Looking for some chickens. I'm exploring new areas, which is good. We're going to probably... Look at all this stuff. And it just opens up. Hello, I'll take more of you. Thank you. So I got myself some beetroots now. I got beetroots already, actually. Not too worried. I haven't heard a single chook. Is that worrying or not worrying or, or what? I, I don't know. Come on, you know you you want to give me a couple of chooks, drops feathers. Uh oh. Bad dog, bad dog. I'm gonna get my bum bit off. I know it. It's not gonna happen. Yep, staying away from the that doggy. <laughs> whoa, whoa, holy crikey. Uh, nearly walked off the edge there. That could have been a total disaster. If not, I'm going to backtrack and go home and see if I can't score myself a couple of feathers. Because I think I st stored a couple of feathers at home, if that's the case. Not a big deal, but exploring is also fun. So, and that goes down into some sort of quarry mine as well. Um, Alright, we'll have to go back to North. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Bad dog! Jeez! Bad. Oh, oh crikey! Grabbing my gum nuts and legging it. I knew I shouldn't have freaking come over here. Flaming galah. He's not following me, right? Oh, they are. There's a pack of them. Why do they have to be angry dogs? I can tame freaking good dogs. Over there, there's good dogs. All right, fine. I'm going back over here. Flaming galah. Do we see any chooks on the way? It's going to be the real question. See, are we seeing pigs? But when it comes to chooks, I don't think so. Yeah, we're going to need to make a raft to get around. Because if we're going to be dealing with way more water, raft is defi definitely going to be necessary at this time. But, come on, give us the map. That's a double quest done. We are getting so much done, moving so forward. We're all almost up to horsepower and leads and stuff. Alright, we'll have a look in here. Come on. Just give me a give me give me the chook. I know you want to. You could probably hear them before you see them. See, I see the friendly dogs, which is good, but not the other type. All right. Well, I'm gonna be back, guys. I'm gonna hunt down these. Yeah. Hello. See, friendly dogs. Woof woof. You can tame those guys. Probably be a good pet. Yeah. I don't see any. I thought I would be really lucky and come back across, but maybe just leg it home because I know for a fact that I've got feathers before. This just means I would have stored them away, probably in one of my chests. If not, I'll just have to keep running until I find some bloody chickens. Crikey. All right, I'll be right back. Let me hunt these guys down, eh? Alrighty then guys, I am back now. Now, that's right, I have hunted down some more chickens. Yep, found some more. Got some more raw chooks to cook, which is good. Got some seeds, which is great. I, I grabbed a few things. I grabbed a few things on the way. I didn't actually go home, didn't make it all the way home before I spotted a few chickens. Once you hit one, the rest of the buggers run around like bloody Fruit Loops. So let's go back over here and trade for our map. Uh, it's none of you two. Actually, he's got a different skin. I think he's a baker. Yeah, he's... No, he does horse pellet for... Yeah, okay, this is definitely different. Pelt. And actually... Oh, we need it. We're probably going to need a saddle very soon. So, definitely finding... Getting a, a, a Watsy pelt there and trading it. Probably a good idea to get earlier on. Yeah, we can actually do sheep right to leather. That's good. This leather worker guy here... He's going to come real handy later on. As long as we stay away from the village, they shouldn't get raided by zombies or anything at night time. Okay, mate. Look what I got. I, oh, nine? He wants nine now. 
Um, how much I got? Eight! Oh. Anyone seen any squids? I just need one now. <laughs> Bloody flaming galah. Talk about not having a the right amount. I can't see. Okay, let's head back over here. And where are you? Where did he go? Huh. Are you in here? No. I hear him, but I don't see him. Um, uh, nope. Huh, huh. Yeah, I see you two. Where did he go? Bloody ninja. Oh. There you are, you rotten bugger. Here's your nine. And here is your feathers. Yes! Done. Got you. Done. Look at that. Finally unlocked those two there. I just got that one to go. Holy smokes. We are definitely nailing through this now. So, right click. Oh, look at this. How does this work? This is this area. We can zoom up. This looks like an old-fashioned RPG. Uh, you can add a marker. Oh, you can call it whatever you want. Delete marker, hide markers, uh, export image. Oh, this is brilliant. So we can hold... We've now got a bloody mini-map. So if we hold... Oh, it stays up in the corner now. How do you get rid of it? Is there like a button to hide a map? I've got, I've got a... Right-click. Nope. I, I don't know. It just wants to stay up in the corner now, so... <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. Follow player. Yeah. Uh, scale in blocks. No, it's just... Yeah. Okay. Alright, well, we're going to have to freaking hide the, the... That's not the map feature. What about Jay? No. Actually, that's not the map feature either. Okay, good stuff. But we've definitely got a, a working map now. Up in the right-hand corner. I don't know if that's going to come annoying because it's so bloody bulky. I want to be able to get rid of it. Is there a shift-click? No. I thought maybe a shift-click will do it. So once we drop the map. Oh, yeah. It goes out of our inventory. So as soon as we hold the map in our hand, doesn't matter what, we, we, we can explore and mark. So actually, that's the first thing we should have done is come back here on the map. Yep, this is just there. Bring up our map. Where are we? So, that's the village right there. So, we are going to grab a marker. And we're going to... Ooh, look at, the, look at all these markers. Look, we can... There we go. And call it V1. It's for village one. Done. Look, V1. Look at that. that that's a little cute house. That's so awesome. That is so flaming awesome. All right, that's on the map. Ha <laughs> ha! That's cool. So now we got a village marker there. We're gonna head on home. I'm I'm, I'm happy with this. We got what well, we got done today. We are bloody doing good. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it now. Thanks for watching episode eight of Civ Tech Ages. Uh, don't forget, if you're enjoying the content, make sure you smash all those buttons, leave a like, comment below, and don't forget to do the biggest one of them all. Share on your favorite social media. And what the hell is all that wreck? It's like sucking me down. Flame and galah. The water's all sorts of messed up there. All right, guys. I'll catch us all later. I'm going to go mark out home now.